Hey everyone, so I'm going to be doing a new makeup tutorial today. I'm putting on some chapstick right now to prepare myself. I'm going to be doing sort of a more costumey look today and I'm going to be doing um, a lot of red. I'm going to kind of see what happens. I don't have like too much planned. So first I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. I do the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. Um, if y'all have seen my videos, y'all know what this is. Spoolie. Comb through my eyebrows first. Okay, so my eyebrows are filled in. They're actually pretty dark, but I think they're gonna look good with the makeup I have planned. Then usually I take the spoolie again and I just comb through again. And kind of like, sometimes I try and see if I can, I don't know if this does anything, but like soften the this line right here. Anyway, there we are. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, oh, I'm going to prime my eyes first. And I have this like janky NARS primer that I also have been using lately. Um, that's like a doe foot applicator. And I put that just lazily, sloppily put that all over and I'm gonna be taking the eyeshadow down over here so try and get some over there and then I'm just gonna blend with my fingers so I'm gonna be taking the eyeshadow all the way up and all the way kind of down like a blush look um, so, it's gonna be an interesting adventure. I think, I'm wondering if I should just do straight eyeshadow or if I should do like a cream situation too. Um, I think it might work better with a cream base, like a lip, kind of like a lipstick or a, um, I have this Revlon Coral Reef. Um, kind of like a, a blush thing situation. So I'm gonna kind of put that on my on my eyes, like all over. All over as to kind of create a base for this look.
I don't want to bring it down too much. I think that's a good start. Okay, so this is my, this is the beginning. Now, I'm going to go in and take a, um, I have this red that I bought from the beauty supply store. It's just a straight up red, I don't think it has a name, Lux Color Center of Attention, I believe. I do not know anything about this brand other than I like this red color and I'm going to continue to use it. I'm going to take this concealer brush or yeah, concealer brush and sort of just start to work that in. Do the other side. Sort of blend that out. I want it to definitely be more blended, so we're gonna have to really work to get that happening. But for now, just get the color to pop. So I'm gonna take some pink. I'm gonna mix some red and some pink together. I could find a brush that I liked using somewhere. Okay, this fluffy brush, this Real Techniques fluffy brush. And I'm gonna use the pink and the orange and the red. And I'm gonna kind of like sweep that over my eyeballs. Oh, and the pink that I'm using is, of course, the Urban Decay Electric Palette Pink. Um, it's kind of uses palette for a lot of things. Now, because I'm having a hard time getting it to blend, I think what I'm going to do is add um, a gloss to kind of blend it out. Um, but first, I'm going to add more of the pink with my concealer brush. I'm combining this pink and this orange. The color, the shade pink is called uh, Savage, and the, um, the orange is called Slow Burn, and these are both in the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Um, just to add a little bit more color, like dimension to the colors used. Um, and I do really want it to feel like, like it's my blush. So, and right now it just feels like I've got a helmet around my eyes. So 
we need to blend it out. Um, I might actually just use some of this uh, minted rose lip balm that I have to put over my face. And kind of work on that a little bit. Make it a little bit messier. And maybe even take a blush brush over it and try to clean it up a little bit. Also gonna go over my eyes with this. Let's see. Um I'm gonna take this stippling brush and kind of see if that'll work to diffuse it. So right now it's kind of doing a better thing. Yeah, that looks cool. What is this? an e.l.f. foundation brush and I'm going to take the Becca um, Champagne Pop highlight that is shattered that I own and kind of place that around um, the outside of this sort of to, to like diffuse it and add some glow to it as well. Um, you know what though? I think that the best the best brush for this is not this brush, but it's okay. You can blend it out with something else. Um, let's see, let's take this blush brush and blend it out. I think sometimes the highlight is too, like, compact, I guess, maybe that's the right word. And then I'm going to put some highlight in my inner corners as well. Um, with the real techniques fluffy brush and that's a lot. I got a lot. You don't need that much. Um, I'm going to put that in the inner corners and see if I can blend that a little bit better. Very nice. Okay. That looks great. Great job. I'm going to put a little bit on my nose, and I made it red, of course, because that's the color that I was using all over my face. <laughs> now I just have a red nose. It's kind of cute, though. I think I'm going to keep it. Um, I'm going to make it more red. And maybe blend it a little bit. But let's see. I think I look like an, a little animal now. Okay, it's more off now. And then for my lips, I'm gonna do a red, but I'm, I'm gonna make it really messy. Um, so I'm gonna use the Lip Butter uh, by 
NYX Cosmetics. It's um, it's kind of like not. It's like a creamy lip stick, like that. And I'm just gonna sloppily apply it to my mouth. I want it to look like I was eating a red popsicle, basically. So I have that, and then I'm gonna put a little bit more highlight right here. And I guess I'll do some mascara. A little bit of mascara. It literally doesn't matter what mascara you use. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more red with my stippling brush. Because this side is a little bit more red. And that is the finished look.